This is the Roborock Saros 20. And I'm going to tell you in this video what are the differences between it and last year's model, the 10R. But first, my name is Jamie Andrews and I review all types of tech products including robot vacuums and mops. Let's go ahead and dive into those changes with the new Saros 20. The first big change is with their Adaplift chassis. Uh, this is now the third iteration, so this is Adaplift 3.0. Uh, and it conquers larger steps and thresholds, and it does that by using a second uh, leg and a wheel, similar to the ones that Dreamy has used. It can clear a single threshold of up to 4.5 centimeters, and if there is a second threshold, it can clear it as long as it's not taller than 4 centimeters. So a total height, two threshold height of 8.5 centimeters is pretty impressive. I'm not sure if this is because of the Adaplift chassis or not, but I noticed that they did add a wheel to the back of the robot. One more feature of Adaplift 3.0 is when the robot detects thick carpets, it will lift to its highest level and then dynamically adjust down so that you don't lose suction. That's a very important feature and something that's the first that I've seen where it can dynamically adjust. Roborock says it can adjust uh, up to eight different levels of height. Uh, so I'll be sure to test that out and make sure that on some thicker carpets that it doesn't actually lose any suction. The other big change is Roborock increased the vacuum power from 22,000 pascals all the way up to 35,000 pascals. We'll be sure to run it through our test and see if those claims make a difference in real world. The object avoidance system is unchanged for the most part. It's still Starsight 2.0, I did notice that they removed what looks like a floor tracker from the Seros 20 that was present on the 10R. The Seros 20 features the same slim 7.98 centimeter body height. I just happened to notice that they redesigned the swing out arm on the side spinning brush. I'm not sure the reason for this, if they're having issues with it. It does look like a beefier unit. Well, those are the changes with the new Seros 20. The main changes are with the Adaplift 3.0 chassis and also increased vacuum power. Uh, if the Adaplift chassis is something that you don't really need and can't take advantage of, then you'll have to wait to see my review to see if this really outperforms last year's model. Otherwise, you might be able to get some good discounts on the 10R. Now, as for the dock, there are a few changes that Roborock made, the biggest of which might be in the dock base. The washboard system has been redesigned. Before on the 10R dock, it was a two-piece system with wipers that would spin around and clean the dock tray. This new design removes those wipers and it's a one-piece dock tray design. They also increase the space in the very back under the filter and the filter size where the wastewater goes. Roborock claims this allows for better cleaning of the mopping pad and it agitates the mopping pad better. We'll be sure to put that through our test and see if this is a good change or a bad change. Personally, I'm a fan of the one-piece design. It's simpler, less moving parts is always a better thing. Roborock also increased the temperature of the hot water for mop washing up to 212 degrees Fahrenheit. Now that's pretty hot and we'll be sure to test that claim. Another nice feature that Roborock added is the ability for the dock to dry the internal dust bag. I also noticed that Roborock added some wheels to help guide the robot onto the dock. Roborock kept the changes to the Seros 20R at a minimal, mostly focusing on the Adaplift 3.0 chassis. Let me know in the comments below what you think about these changes to this model. If you're a 10R owner, is this something that you would consider an upgrade to? If you're a new shopper, is this something that would be on your list? I'll have a full review out for the Seros 20 on my channel in the very near future, so if you haven't already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I appreciate you watching, and we'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.